Which Linux file system works best with SSD? From Wiki The vital trim function is supported by the Linux OS starting with February 6, 2033 kernel, available early 2010. However, support amongst various file systems is still inconsistent or not present. Proper partition alignment is also not carried out by installation software. So, which file system works best for SSD and supports trim plus partition alignment during install and is available on Ubuntu? Short answer. Choose ext4, and use fitrim, see below. Also use the no time option if you fear SSD wear. Don't change your default IO scheduler, usually CFQ, on multi-application servers, as it provides fairness between processes and has automatic SSD support. However, use deadline on desktops to get better responsiveness under load. To easily guarantee proper data alignment, the starting sector of each partition must be a multiple of 2048, equals 1 MIB. You can use FDISC Q slash dev slash SDX to create them. On recent distributions, it will automatically take care of this for you. Think twice before using swap on SSD. It will probably be much faster compared to swap on HDD, but it will also wear the disk faster, which may not be relevant, see below. Edit 2022, NVMe drives can be so quick that apparently, the default I.O. scheduler for them in Linux is none slash noob. That's because the time spent in CPU for I.O. scheduling could take more time than actually directly fetching the data from the drive. So for those drive, I would just leave the default I.O. scheduler set up by the kernel. Long answer. File systems. X4 is the most common Linux file system, well maintained. It provides good performance with SSD and supports the trim and fit trim feature to keep good SSD performance over time. This clears unused memory blocks for quick later write access. NILFS is especially designed for flash memory drives, but does not really perform better than X4 on benchmarks. BTRFS is still considered experimental and does not really perform better either. SSD performance and trim. The trim feature clears SSD blocks that are not used anymore by the file system. This will optimize long-term write performance and is recommended on SSD due to their design. It means that the file system must be able to tell the drive about those blocks. The discard mount option of X4 will issue such trim commands when file system blocks are freed. This is online discard. However, this behavior implies a little performance overhead. Since Linux the 2nd of June 2037, you may avoid using discard and choose to do occasional batch discard with Fitrim instead, for example from the cron tab. The stream utility does this, online, as well as the, e-discard, option of, fsck.x4. You will need recent, as of writing, versions of these tools however. SSD where? You might want to limit writes on your drive as SSD have a limited lifetime in this regard. Don't worry too much however, today's worst 120 HGP SSD can support at least 20 GB of written data per day for more than 5 years, 1000 write cycles per cell. Better ones, and also bigger ones, can last much longer, you will very probably have replaced it by then. If you want to use swap on SSD, the kernel will notice a non-rotational disk and will randomize swap usage, kernel level where leveling, you will then see a SS, solid state, in the kernel message when swap is enabled. Adding 2097148k swap on slash dev slash SDA1. Priority, 
minus 1 extends colon 1. Across colon 2097148KSS. IO schedulers. Also, I agree with most of Alias Scar's answer, even if most of it has been illegally copied from this website, but I must partly disagree on the scheduler part. By default, the deadline scheduler is optimized for rotational disks as it implements the elevator algorithm. So, let's clarify this part. Long answer on schedulers. Starting from kernel the 2nd of June 2029, SSD disks are automatically detected, and you may verify this with you should get one for hard disks and zero for SSD. Now, the CFQ scheduler can adapt its behavior based on this information. Since Linux 3.1, the kernel documentation, cfqiosh.txt, file says. CFQ has some optimizations for SSDs, and if it detects a non-rotational media which can support higher Q depth, multiple requests at in flight at a time. Also, the deadline scheduler tries to limit unordered head movements on rotational disks, based on the sector number. Quoting kernel doc, deadline iosh.txt, FIFO underscore batch option description. Requests are grouped into batches of a particular data direction, read or write, which are serviced in increasing sector order. However, Tuning this parameter to 1 when using a SSD may be interesting. This parameter tunes the balance between per request latency and aggregate throughput. When low latency is the primary concern, smaller is better, where a value of 1 yields first come first served behavior. Increasing FIFO underscore batch generally improves throughput at the cost of latency variation. Some benchmarks suggest that there is little difference in performance between the different schedulers. Then, why not recommend fairness? When CFQ is rarely bad in the bench. However, on desktop setups, you will usually experience better responsiveness using deadline under load, due to its design, probably at a lower throughput cost though. That said, a better benchmark would try using deadline with FIFO underscore batch equals 1. To use deadline on SSDs and NUM and flash memory drives, by default, you can create a file, say, slash etc slash udef.d slash 99 ssd.rules, as follows, edit 2022, MQ deadline, multi queues replaces the deprecated deadline. File system X4 plus trim. X4 with trim improves performance by reducing unnecessary write cycles to the SSD drive as they limited write rewrite cycles. Ubuntu and some other Linux flavors support X4 with trim out of the box. Swap partition. Make sure you do not have a swap space on the SSD, again to reduce the write cycles. If you have a mechanical drive, then you should create a swap space on the mechanical drive, and avoid having it on the SSD. Partition Alignment The partition should start on a clean 1 MB boundary so that block size of the file system aligns with the block size of the SSD. So use X4 plus trim with a swap on a mechanical hard drive or no swap on SSD. The above can be implemented by referring to the source, how to maximize SSD performance. The Arch Linux article Solid State Drive says in the section Choice of File System. Many options exist for file systems including x2-3-4, btrfs, 
etc. BTRFS BTRFS support has been included with the mainline February 6, 2029 release of the Linux kernel. Some feel that it is not mature enough for production use while there are also early adopters of this potential successor to X4. Users are encouraged to read the BTRFS article for more info. X4 X4 is another file system that has support for SSD. It is considered as stable since February 6, 2028 and is mature enough for daily use. Contrary to BTRFS, X4 does not automatically detect the disk nature. Users must explicitly enable the trim command support using the discard mount option in stab or with tune 2 fso discard slash dev slash stacks. Both BTRFS and X4 fulfill the two major requirements for efficient use of the SSD. The file system has to be able to issue at underscore trim commands to the underlying SSD. The file system must not perform unneeded writes to the disk. For performance, there are two other requirements. Partitions need to be aligned to the block size of the SSD. Trim must be explicitly enabled for each X4 formatted partition. The first one is nowadays automatic with most Linux installers. FDisk will also create partitions at the 1024 kilobits border as started with the Chu flags. The second is automatic for BTRFS, but for X4 this is done manually by adding discard to the list of mount options for each X4 partition in the slash etc slash stab file. For more details see this how to. In my opinion, this required little fiddling with stab for X4 is no reason not to use this mature and excellent file system. If you want to see that picture, please come to your subscribing.